Hey, buddy, it's Invicta. It's time to eat and run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Friday, Mosh Pit. I hope you're enjoying your fresh weekend here in this fresh month of November. And uh, also maybe enjoying the fresh weather or something. It Look, it's warm outside right now, and which is crazy because, of course, like two days ago, it was 40 degrees outside. It was in the 40s, and now it's in the 80s. So go figure. I'm expecting a lot of people to get sick. Much like the... Uh, week of runs we've had oh thank you i know i know thank you thank you i thank you thank you i appreciate it no really really it's okay it's it's just i'm just doing my job here's your artwork slash carving of the day submitted here by keeper sack guy of course another halloween passes and another pumpkin uh pumpkin carving of our favorite little sister this one is awesome i appreciate this uh and honestly i really wish i could have seen this one lit up but we've had some amazing, amazing mosh pit pumpkins over the years, especially that one that was this Invicta logo. So thank you very much, Keeper Sack Guy, and everyone who upvoted that one. Remember, if you have your own artwork or pictures to submit, go over to the slash r slash Invicta community. Today is going to be, oh my God, this tears right. Uh, Victor, Sierra, Alpha, X-Ray, Quebec, Foxtrot, Papa, Mike. We've got, well, we've got the right, we've got the right item, I can tell you that. So our base stat, for our tiers rate is 1.96, but we have in our possession uh, the candle. Uh, what is it? It's, uh, why can I not think of it? Why am I not thinking of this? It's, this is gonna bother me. Why can I not think of this name all of a sudden? Uh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, uh, to, to Platinum God, because this is bothering me now. I can't believe I'm forgetting this dang item. We see it so often, too. <coughs> yeah, the Pascal Candle. Good Lord, man. Absolutely terrible. Yeah, Pascal Candle. So what the Pascal Candle is going to do is going to give us a tears rate every time we clear a room without taking damage. Now, if you saw our base stats at the start of this run, you know that, as I just got done saying, it is an actual atrocious 1.96. But we've got, we have the, the item that can help us out at least temporarily right now in the Pascal Candle. Because obviously that's going to buff the only thing that's really wrong with this run. I mean, even 3.33 .3 damage, repeating of course, is not great damage, but it's not terrible. We've seen worse stat, like starts in terms of that. Now as far as a Pandora's box is concerned, we have a couple of different ways to do this. I... I honestly think that using it on floor one is probably smart. Getting hit by Larry Jr. under any circumstance is 100% unacceptable. It is unacceptable. Um, we could. It doesn't matter if we take the Rotten Heart or not. We're still dead in one hit. I'm going to really try hard not to use Pandora's Box. Well, I guess we could use it now and then take one. I was going to use Pandora's box regardless of getting damaged in there, because obviously we want to protect our Devil Deal on floor two. Um, we get Cat of Nine Tails, which is great. It's going to give us a damage and shot speed upgrade, and we're going to go ahead and and, and send that uh, tears rate right down to hell. However, however, what I will say is that if you're going to have a low tears rate, you might as well do a lot of damage, and C-section is definitely going to help us out in a big way. Now, if we can get one bomb, we can actually get everything in there, or we can just do this, I guess. Uh, yeah. I don't think this barrel here, I'm pretty sure that this will not free that golden chest. I don't think so, anyway. I'm going to shoot this barrel first because I don't want to get hit by anything. Okay, now if I put this here, however, it might. Don't push it into the fire. Stay away from the fire. There we go. And we got not one, but <coughs> two bombs. <coughs> there we go. So that's a big time play right there, son. Okay. So with three bombs and two keys now, we can start looking for the, for the regular secret room. We know it's not north of here. How do we know that? Because there's a skinny room that's adjacent to that room. There's no real clear indicator of where the secret room is. Um, it could be here. 
If it's not there, then it might be adjacent to the curse room. Just here. We can also get a key regardless of this. I'm not convinced of that hit, but I'm not going to use another bomb for it. Hey, never mind. Oh, head on. Down. But starting off here with C-section, we got Pascal Candle. We should be able to get that tears up. The shot speed helps out a lot from Cat of Nine Tails, and we are going to be doing hopefully a good amount of damage. Um, could be worse. Uh, I will take the Rotten Heart now just so we can have some flies. We go over to last week's question of the episode. What did you think of Team Carry Cat? And a lot of people really responded uh, to this to this question here. Also, shout out to I'm gonna say uh, Layuk Mena Lee 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 Sick Mena. Sorry, I keep mispronouncing your name because I have absolutely no clue how to do it. Uh, thank you very much for allowing me to pin your comment and stepping in for me when I couldn't make it. That was when we were having some. Um, some f not fun issues with sleep. No, surprise, surprise, right? Uh, but thank you very much, and I'll read their comment first, even though we didn't get the most upvotes at the time of this recording. Uh, they said, uh, all the way down below, they said, this. to be honest, this is the first time I've seen the combo in Repentance because I rarely see Cammy's head. And that seemed to be the common theme of the of the thread. Um, and yeah, I, I, will, I will also back that up and say that, you know, Tammy's head has kind of become a luxury. Kind of a classic item at this point um, that you just don't see it anymore, which is real sad because it's such a powerful item, um, especially when combined with Brimstone, which, I mean, hence Team Carry Cat. Uh, we could get a bomb. Hopefully we get a bomb. Let's go see what we get from our boss room first here. going to be Dingle, and Dingle is not going to be long for this world with our army of babies chasing after him. That is some... That is some very competent uh, damage there, and we're going to get some movement speed. Hooray. Um, we could go for the devil deal, but honestly, I'm kind of feeling angel deals. <clears throat> I'm going to I'm gonna go angel deals here. We did get a bomb, thankfully, thanks to Constellation Prize. We get a Soul Heart and another bomb, which allows us to open up this Tinted Rock here. Yeah. There we go. So, don't have a key. We probably should go buy one, but I'm going to... Well, we should go buy one because we've actually used the key to open up the store. And we just need to at least guarantee that we can get into the item room. So, you know, a half price Magic Fingers ain't bad either. Um, but just give me the key and we'll head on down. I know there's a secret room uh, to the left of the room below the shop. The super secret room is to the right of this wall here, but we don't have a bomb. And uh, I don't feel like going to look for one. So the most upvoted comment last week came in from FBI. Uh, it was FBI agent RC who said a certified hood classic, <laughs> but Tammy's head is very rare in repentance, at least for me. Yeah, uh, it was it was just what I was saying. And with uh, Mina's comment as well, you know, Tammy's head has become such a almost a vintage item at this point. It's a classic item from days gone of repent of a uh, rebirth and uh, afterbirth plus that you rarely ever see it. And when you do, it's like, oh, man, you know, <coughs> Can we make this work? Do I have Brimstone? Can Team Carry Cat help out? Do I have Death's Touch, et cetera, et cetera? And most of the time, the answer is probably no, because a lot of the times you don't have any good tier effects to go along with it. But when you do get Tammy's head, oh, man. With the, with the right combo, Team Carry Cat is absolutely alive and well. And uh, we showed it in that, in, in that episode specifically. So thank you very much, FBI uh, Agent RC. The next most upvoted comment came in from Blue Hellfire who simply said 90% of finding the synergy is just me playing as a Zazel and then getting lucky with Tammy's head. Easy GG. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's another way to do it for sure, is simply just playing as a Zazel. And then if you get Tammy's head somehow, you literally are, you start off with Team Carry Cat. It's great. It's a uh, not great item, and I'm not even going to worry about taking it. Although, I will take the flat penny. Ha, ha, ha. Um, and then the third most upvoted comment came in, from uh <clears throat> it was from 
Uh, b -b -b where is it? I, ju I just had it. Uh, it was from, oh, Getty Kid. Sorry, or sorry, Greddy Kid. We said one of the best active item synergies with Brimstone, especially with the four and a half volt. Uh, yeah, that is that. Look, there are a lot of things that were added and taken away in Repentance. But one thing that I can honestly say is one of the best items to ever happen in the game is the four and a half volt. Like if you have it, you love it, you just use it. And it is fantastic in every way, especially if you can get that self-perpetuating charge on your active item. It's just like with Team Carry Cat, you're you're set for the rest of the run. Have fun, enjoy the run. Enjoy it like fine wine. So that is a, uh, that, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. Now I will say, to be fair, because some people were calling that as an anti-synergy as well, with uh, specifically with uh, with the four and a half volt, which th this came in from Earthhoven or Earth Oven. Um, <coughs> they said not when it's an anti-synergy with four and a half volt. That is technically true if you want to think about it in a in a weird way. Um, I'm not saying that Earth Oven is weird. I'm just saying that you know, you got buttless chub. It's a buttless champion blue chub too. Wow, look at that. It's like finding a Charizard. In like a pack of Pokemon cards, I mean, you can you can you start with a Charizard in general. Anyway, anyway, uh, we are gonna get the Binky and give us the tears up. Yeah, we'll head on down. So in a in a way, that is technically true. You could perceive. The presence of Tammy's head, Brimstone, and a four and a half volt as an anti synergy because there are <coughs> a few, more than a few occasions where you're going to find yourself dealing less damage than what a charge would just simply give you by clearing a room. But what I will say is that I still am not going to consider it an anti synergy because you have to think about the long term in the fact that you're not usually going to be able to get a full charge in like regular rooms with regular mobs, but you most certainly are going to have an easy time reusing that carry cat over and over again when you're against a boss. And that is my sticking point to why that is not an anti-synergy. For me, anyway. I don't consider it an anti-synergy. Um, again, I can see how some would perceive it to be, but by my definition, it's not. For the sole purpose of the, of the simple fact that you can get multiple uses out of that combo in the same room against bosses. I mean, that that is incredible value there. And the four and a half volt allows you to do that. So, you know, up to you. It's it's all subjective to opinion. Um, I just think that that combo with the four and a half volt and being able to reuse everything is just too good. It's too good to consider a negative on that. <coughs> Go check out the cursor real quick, and it's going to cost us absolutely bloody nothing. Bloody nothing, mate. Um finally find our item room here now i do love the fact that we have lusty blood because that's just going to make our damage just go up incredibly high we get hypercoagulation that's just super duper awesome it's really great super great items so great this is basically a free key in a free free area of the room Seeker room is obviously here. I am obviously going to take this very obvious eternal art. So, okay. So where do we need to improve here? Well, getting any kind of tier effect, especially like Godhead or something like that would be amazing. Um, obviously anything that breaks the tiers cap, we need to raise the base limit of our tiers rate at the start here. The base value, I should say, because right now with our base stat being so low, even after Binky, we're not going to really accomplish much here with Pascal Candle. However, However, if we end up 73%, by the way, if we ended up getting a good amount of tiers upgrades and C-section can really thrive. Darkness here, no mapping yet, unfortunately. <coughs> and we have to wait till floor five for our first angel deal. Isn't that, isn't that just super? Well, we lose our Pascal Candle buff because I saw the C-section babies thinking that they were things I needed to dodge like an idiot. And uh, Curse of Darkness directly contributed 
than me not being able to really catch the angle of that, uh, that, uh, floating skull. But it doesn't really take a whole lot of effort to get your Pascal Candle uh, rate maxed out again. Room is always a little monka s for hopefully obvious reasons, but if you don't know why, then you know what? Ask your parents, kids. Oh, baby. Look at this. We had a cardio coin, and we have flat penny, which is going to give us a chance to spawn a key after every time we pick up a coin. So key problems are <clears throat> non-existent. Uh, and I will say that another another sort of mystery solved, not really solved, but um, something that I definitely overlooked on the on the uh, dark side of Guppy episode was when we took Guppy's tail, but also had a uh, let's see those shots. We also had the matchstick. Um, I feel like I've told this story before. I think I told it on stream. Um, or I may have even told in this episode. I don't even know anymore, dude. But yes, I did. I did fail to recognize that we also took um, the matchstick combined with Guppy's tail, which obviously directly contributed to our negative key acquisition rate. However, I will say, <coughs> in my defense, in my defense, um, okay, let's stop taking this damage here. How about how about that? Let's actually let's actually play legit defense because this is new guarantees rate. So, in my defense, at the time, I believe, anyway, at the time of us picking up Matchstick, we needed bombs. So, it made sense at the time to do so. That's what a lot of people really kind of forget when they go on these whole, like, little triggered, angry, like, criticizing sprees that they, they love to do for some of my videos. Is that you gotta, re you gotta put yourself in the scenario of the player, and who is, in this case, me. And to advocate for myself, I will say that uh, there's a lot, there's a fine line between patience and just being done with this run. And uh, I was at that moment after all those, after the, all those keyless rooms and stuff that I was like, dude, just give me anything. I don't care. Um, and having bombs, of course, also means that you can use an alternate form of damage, which helps out a lot as well. Um, but obviously, yes. If we didn't take the matchstick, we would have been a, a lot better off. Another cardio coin here. The game's really, truly trying to stop us taking our boss rush. And you know what? I'm not going to allow it. So we just did a huge, massive full clear. By the way, this is not an XL floor. I just want to point that out. This is a regular size floor, according to Repentance, and it's still going. It is funny how, just how angry some of y'all are, the YouTube comments about, about honest mistakes. And like, there's then, there's like, there's also like this other like camp of people who are like, he's been playing this game so long. How does he not know? Blah, 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 blah. Like, dude, shut up. <laughs> you no, know, sometimes, sometimes just shut up. That's what I have to say to those people. Dude, just shut up. Got the halo here, and I am going to make a mad dash for boss rush if we can. But uh, we really need to maintain this Pascal candle buff because, as you see here, it really hamstrings our damage. There's our full card. Very happy that we got that very quickly. The sacrifice room here, but not really enough HP to really do anything with it. This is insanely this is a world of difference of what we were experiencing when we didn't have the pascal candle buff to where we are now and we finally have enough money to buy a bunch of stuff in the uh, in the shop so guess who's waiting for us inside nobody nobody you thought it was gonna be greed power pill the useless not really useful here i should say gonna be able to put a hopefully a lot amount 
a large amount of money in the uh, bank here. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll take it. I'm down with it. <coughs> if you smell what I'm cooking. Team sale, I guess. Eternal, we can go get that other eternal heart. And now we're actually starting to look like we can play the sacrifice room. I'm just going to be honest. We give up one soul heart and basically turn it into a red heart. Um, which again could possibly facilitate us playing the sack room here. But we got to be careful. We don't want to do it before the mom fight. And don't worry because we're going to do a full clear anyway. The only reason why I say we don't want to do it before the mom fight is because we do not have enough time to make this and boss rush. Now the question is, put your comments down below. How many dead ends are we going to find before we go actually find mom's mom's room? Get the missing page number two, which is just going to basically give that soul heart back. And while we're here, we might as well look at that and then laugh and turn around and keep on going on this full clear exponent. This is a... This is a one-way trip to full clear town. <clears throat> I don't really know why I'm really picking up any money unless we end up getting money goes power or something from a devil deal. <coughs> That was close. I was not expecting her to stomp there. Uh, I am going to take the negative for the damage because we definitely need it. And I'm going to just not do that. Uh, free fly. First the maze. Pheromones. Okay, that's all I'm taking of the golden pill just because I don't want to miss boss rush and I don't want to get telepills out. Garb straw, bloody gut. Ooh. Oh, bloody gust, though, man. I'll take almond milk because we really don't get to see it all that much. Now, here's a kicker also that we haven't seen all that much. And that is the fact that we have hypercoagulation and the chance to play the, the sack room here. Whoop. Whoop's going to be absolutely useless just because of our damage now. Um, but as you can hear with the amount of popping going on, uh, we have a lot, a lot of DPS here. Just due to the sheer rate of fire that we've got. So hypercoagulation makes this possible, I think, for us to tap and catch those hearts back. We'll see. Of course, it's not proccing right now because <laughs> you know, if, if anything, the game... If, if at all else, yeah, it loves to make me look stupid. Not run back in, grab the soul heart, and we're looking for the soul hearts here. We definitely do not need uh, the thirty cents. We get seven soul hearts. Goodness. <clears throat> now, could we go beat uh, Lamb right now? You know, that's a good question. One that I don't think I'm going to answer right now. If we had... What are, what's our red heart situation looking like? I'm kind of actually a little annoyed that hypercoagulation literally never spawned once. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so there's a red heart in there. <clears throat> Rejoice, buddy in a box guy. We've got you covered. I got you, bro. 
got you. You know what? Let's try it. How do we do against Gabriel here? I mean, when the babies get on him, it's pretty potent. Why not, you know? We get Twisted Pair. Oh, my Gertie. Oh, we got to go Twisted Pair here. If we go Twisted Pair, we might as well go Jello. Uh, because at this point, if we have Jello and C-Section and Twisted Pair, we're going to have a lot of C-Section babies. And if anything, this just kind of goes to show you how strong C-Section almond milk can be. Or C-Section and anything milk can be. Oh, my goodness. Now, what you're hearing there, that is the sound... That is the sound of the Pascal Candle buff kicking in and the game realizing that, hey, we have Pascal Candle. Yeah, you hear how much faster those uh, those shots are going? Yeah. I will admit, there's a lot of visual doo-doo going on. We got hit there. Are you kidding me, game? War was dead, bro. I'm gonna use uh I'm gonna use jello here. I'm wait for all the babies to go away before we actually do anything. Now, do I recommend doing this? No. Don't do this. This is stupid. This is a this is a bad idea. Oh, it's actually not over there. Well, I do not want to go fight a big room. We basically just need to blast down everything we can as fast as possible. Just based on the amount of garbage going on on the screen. Makes it very difficult to see. Makes it very difficult to see shots. But as you saw how fast we took down that dark one. Yeah. We got we got the dips. We got the dips. We got the dips. We got the dips. <laughs> that little head field there at the end. You don't want to go too far back to the wall because the, the blorb's just going to spawn right on you and then shoot you where you can't dodge. That's always fun. Like a swarm of angry bees. Apparently there's another death in here. Yeah, and I'm more concerned with seeing where enemy projectiles are. Oh, they're all dead. Okay. Now, thank God that we have uh, the stopwatch. We can just deal constant damage to our targets, so... This is a good idea, bad idea. I don't know. I'm glad that we have a power pill, though. I can tell you that. <clears throat> Again, Jello just adds one more layer of uh, of projectiles here. Now I had to pretty much hit that because I could not, for the life of me, see where the projectiles were. There you go. Down goes Lamb. That was uh, that was real easy. That was really easy. Um, <coughs> I think I'm going to call it here. Um, I'm sorry, but my cough is getting, as you can hear, it's getting not great. So I really apologize about that, everybody. But I promise you, I promise you I'm getting help for it. Hopefully. Hopefully getting some relief very soon. Because let me tell you, I would pay any amount of money to get rid of this cough permanently. And because uh, it's obviously it's disrupting, it's disrupting work. But I'm going to do what the doctor told me. Just take it easy. Watch my voice. And uh, yeah. Take it easy on this Friday. So thank you for watching, everyone. What a great combo that is, though. Almond milk and C-section. Just showing you just how good it can be, even with, like, a suboptimal uh, situations, like going straight to the lamb is, uh, is a lot of fun. So we so made it. And thank you for watching, everyone. Your question of the episode is going to be, what is your take on almond milk? What items do you take with it? What items do you not take with it? Post them in the comments down below. Top three most upvoted comments 
get posted and get read live well a live recording anyway on next week's episode and thank you for liking commenting subscribing i'm gonna go eat a bunch of honeys and then go take it easy as always have a great weekend and thank you for being here thank you mosh pit i appreciate the support i will see you all next time until then so long everybody thanks for watching this video like thanks to patrons of mine like greg davis marcus and ham solo if you'd like to have your name read at the end of an isaac episode check out my patreon campaign which you can find over at patreon.com slash invicta 